Um, the presentation is about the protective box for aerosol generation procedures with high risk of uh, SARS-CoV-2 infection. In this presentation, we participate uh, free institute, the Technical University of Moldova, National Agency from Public Health, and the Institute of Emergency Medicine. The motivation is um, uh, according to the According to the um, uh, World Health Organization guidelines, there is a significant research gap regarding the epidemiology of acute respiratory infection transmission from patients to healthcare workers during aerosol generation procedures. Particularly with respect to pathogen that often of um, SARS-CoV-2. The gap is compounded by a lack of precision in the literature with regard to the definition for aerosol generation procedures. In addition, little information exists on the minimum ventilation requirements to reduce pathogen transmission during such procedures as intubation, tracheostomy, resuscitation maneuvers, non-invasive ventilation, ventilation on the mask, bronchoscopy, or esophagastrododianoscopy. Um, First of all, we start with analysis of the literature in the field. We studied the biographical resources for the research of protective boxes, um, elaborated and uh, what are implemented. Uh, here in this image, you can see different types of uh, protective boxes with uh, different type of uh, filters and uh, ventilation systems. Um, next one is the protective box design uh, uh, by the uh, University Technic of, uh, Technical University of Moldova. Uh, the, follow, um, the design was followed by according to the dimension and uh, uh, mentioned by colleagues from the emergency department. The shape of the box were designed uh, for two types, a curved and square one, like you see this in the images. Uh, one top one is the Square angle one, or in south and the down is the angle one, curved one. Uh, protective um, box of uh, fabrication, uh, two types, uh, according to the project. The better part was the curved one. The design and printing the auxiliary parts was made on a 3D printed printer. Uh, the, there was the printed uh, the hose for the fan and for the filter. Design and stimulation of the electricity system. Uh, wiring diagrams were designed and stimul uh, simulated for directing the system with direct alternating cooling fans. Final version of the system. The, um, uh, slides uh, show the uh, two types of uh, different fans and different diameter of a uh, pipe. In the um, first video here, you will see uh, it demonstrates the efficiency of uh, extraction for the cord box, how the uh, air flow is uh, evacuated. And um, our video is the most uh, efficient aerosol extraction regime or shale. The clinical testing of a system on patient was made and was performed with formation of system improvements and recommendations. It was the first in the part of emergency hospital. And after that was made some improvements on the, the angles, on the size of the body, and on the um, different houses. In conclusion, the protective box uh, can be used by hospitals then that do not have rooms with specific conditions for performing aerosol generating procedures, rooms with uh, possibility to generate negative pressure, rooms with a ventilation rate of 160 liters per second, patient or at least 12 uh, environmental air changes per hour. And the existing ventilation system does provide the minimum required necessary to prevent the infection amount of the medical staff. Thank you. So, thank you. Any questions, dear colleagues? Have you any questions? Professor, I would like to to add to say something. Uh, 
please this pleasure this, uh, this result was obtained in the framework of uh, of of the project uh, on the call for decreasing the impact of covid-19 we uh, have planned to continue this uh, this um, experiments and i hope until the next uh, conference we will present a full paper for for springer now we participate uh, only with uh, abstract uh, thank you very much professor so dear colleagues uh, I also have a question. Of course, the presentation is very nice, and your full paper also will be very nice. But I think we need the box, and uh, this box uh, should be very useful not only for the hospitals, but also for uh, for uh, investigations laboratory. For instance, in my center, I need very much this kind of box. Are you going to organize the production somewhere in order to can buy it? Uh, one more. Um, I, I, I said that um, uh, this box is a very good box for not only the hospitals, but also for investigation laboratories. Ah, okay. And for instance, in my centers, I need very much this kind of, of instruments. And uh, are you going to organize the production of these kinds of devices? This is a device. Uh, in order to have the possibility to buy, to prepare, to buy the, this kind of, uh, of boxes. Hmm? Okay, I think, yes, uh, we have to discuss about this uh, because uh, we have to, uh, to propose this kind of box to, to hospitals. Also, um, different, uh, different maybe dimensions, different uh, uh, according to your needs. We will discuss and we will, uh, I think we will, uh, make one box for your laboratory. But not only for me, but maybe to discuss with the rector of university, organize the fabrication in our university factory. Uh, you, we have a factory in the university and uh, maybe it's a uh, proposal should be very good for, uh, for organize the production of this kind of boxes. Hmm? Uh, I I am agree with you, but this result was obtained in the framework of one project. Uh, for production, we have to discuss uh, in the in the next future. Okay, thank you.